Welcome to my attempt at solving the object-oriented programming practice quiz for ICS 211. So as you see on the left-hand side, I have the quiz open, and I'm going to refresh the screen to restart the timer. So now I have 25 minutes to solve this practice problem. So I have, instead of using a paper, I'm going to use a plain old notepad or a text editor. It doesn't have any knowledge of Java or anything, so it doesn't give me any huge advantage. Plus, you'll be able to see what I type versus trying to read my chicken scratch if I were to do this on a piece of paper. So what do I need to do? I need to create a simple Java class representing a book. So let's start off with a java.comment represents a simple book. want to have an author tag. And that's good. So what's the class with public class book that needs to implement implements the comparable. I'm going to do book so we can compare books interface. So there's my class definition. Now I need to fill out the thing. So I need to have a title. So private, I want to make the member variables private so they're so I use data encapsulation and hide them from the outside world. String title private string author string ISBN. Okay, so now that they're private, I'm gonna need some accessor functions, but I'll do the constructors first. So I need to create, have a class, a way to build these classes. So I say this is my default constructor. So the default constructor is public book, name of the class. It's a method that takes no parameters. And so what does it do? It just calls this with the title. The author and the ISBN. So that's calling the constructor that takes that. So now I need to create that constructor. Creates a book with the given information. Param title. The title of the Param author the book Param ISBN the ISBN of the book and of my Java doc public again it's constructor so I use book string title string author string ISBN. So now what do I need to do? I need to assign this dot title equals title. This dot author equals author. This dot ISBN equals ISBN. Using the this keyword here means I'm referring to the member variable and this title is referring to the variable being passed in. By putting the this preference, it's telling Java to use the member variable name title versus the parameter being passed in, which is also called title. So we can distinguish between the member variable and the parameter in the method. So now we need a way of setting and getting these member variables. So let's create um, returns the books title at return the title so it's a public this title is a string get title what do we want to do return title I could say this dot title, but since there are no parameters, I don't need to 
indicate that it's specifically the it will uh, the Java will know that that referring to the member variable. So now I want a way of set the books title. Oops, the new title. So again, public void, since we don't have a return type set title, we need to provide the string title. And again, because the, the parameter name is the same as the member name, we need to say this dot title equals title. So we've just had a way of getting the title and setting the title. So now let's do the same for author. Return the books author. Public string get author. Return So now we need to set it. At param author, new author. Notice how I like to, or I like to do the Java doc before I actually write the method. For me, I find it a little simpler because that allows me to do a little bit of design before I actually write the method. Because now I know that this thing has a pr one parameter. It has a void return value. Set author. I know the name of the variable because it's author. Or the parameter. Author. Okay, so now we finish up with the the ISBN terms the IS the books ISBN that return the ISBN public string get ISBN. ISBN, line up my curly braces, sets the books ISBN at param ISBN, the new, should make that all caps. Public void set I S B N string I S B N this dot I S B N equals I S B N. Okay, so now I have a way to construct a book, setting its title, its author, its I S B N a way to set a default without, but then individually getting and setting the individual member variables. So I could now change the way I'm storing this information as long as I keep the getters and setters the same, and that's what data encapsulation allows me to do. So if I want to change the author to actually be an instance of an author object, I can do that trivially and just change the what we do when we set an author or we get the author's name. So what next do I have to do? I have to implement the comparable inf interface, which it compares this book to another book, returns negative integer if this is less than B, less than other, zero if equal, pause, positive.
if integer if greater than. So we want the at return negative int if less zero if equal positive int if greater than. Not the best java.com int in the world. But so it's public int compare to book B. Come on, there we go. And I need to add there. So now, what do I need to do? Well, we're going to compare the titles first. So we say int result equals this dot title dot compare to b dot title. So that will compare the title string to the other title string. And now, if they're equal, we want to compare their authors. So if result equals equals zero, meaning that the titles are equal. We say result equals this dot author dot compare to b dot author. And notice I can refer to b's private member variables because I am writing this in the book class. So I have access to the private member variables of book instances in when I'm writing the book class. So now I need to return result. So I'm, in some sense, I'm delegating the decision to the actual string class that does the comparison between strings. And so now I have finished this quiz or practice quiz. So I, first off, created the book class implementing the comparable interface create my member variables, create my constructors, then I get my accessors and setters, and then I implement the methods in the interface. And it should work, and it's done. I have completed it in half the time, so you guys should be able to finish this in 25 minutes. Thank you very much.